good, you are good When there's nothing good in me You are love, you are love On display for all to see You are light, you are light When the darkness closes in You are hope, you are hope You have covered all my sins weight on me as it related to just doing something outside the box to help you know the youth especially when it came to high school students and um, I felt like that a lot of people were in their cliques and uh, you know in school or even cliques within a church organization and it's just there wasn't an outlet for kids to be able to come together and fellowship and have some diversity as it relates to fellowship. And um, so I think that just kind of initiated probably the whole thought process and then um, he laid it on my heart to reach out to Stacy to just be able to see if we can work together. Um, I feel like that the students have really gotten a lot out of it just because anytime you hear God's Word, um, He plants a seed. And anytime a seed is planted, I just feel like that we just have faith that He's going to do something with it. And I feel like um, just every time we've allowed someone to come in and, you know, share their word or testimony or um, you know, share a message. I just feel like that God's doing His individual work with them. So. I love that Lisa mentioned diversity because I've seen that in the group. We have so many um, different students from different backgrounds. Um, so I, I love seeing how they've grown spiritually and they come back and they share what, um, how it's affected them as a whole. So I've enjoyed seeing the differences in them. Yeah, their growth their excitement um, and their fervor for Jesus Christ. It's different because it's so diverse and we have so many different types of people and different backgrounds. And I also think like some youth groups at churches, um, like if you go, it's kind of very structured and it's kind of hard to like fit into that family, but here, you, you know, anyone can come and feel comfortable. And sometimes you don't always have that at like a youth group with a church or something. Uh, it has given 
showed us new friends and strengthen our relationship with God. This fellowship has benefited me because I've made a lot more friendships and I've grown closer to the people in the group and it's helped me grow closer to God because I've been more outspoken with my beliefs. This group has benefited me because I became more outspoken about God to others. Um, this group has benefited me in endless ways possible. Um, most of the people in this group, we don't see each other every day after school. Or, um, I mean, we're in high school, we have so many busy classes, and I'm thankful that I do have best friends in here, but a lot of people, I don't get to see or talk to them every day. So it's awesome that you can bring so many different people from different backgrounds or whatever, and it's awesome that we can have so many friends. Um, you know, now you can see each other in the hall and like high five or whatever, you know, for a short moment. So I think that's definitely the best thing about this is, you know, we're all friends, we're all family here, and we all love each other and we do anything for each other. My favorite thing about fellowship, it's good to meet new people, because uh, you never know where they're coming from. And uh, mostly talking about God, spiritual growth is very important to uh, young people and the new generation is very, very important. I believe so. And uh, it's just always good to meet new people, find out their background, and get to know them. Um, it's benefited me because I I get to be around people my age. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think you know, I think being around people and knowing that, you know, you both want to fellowship together, it kind of inspires you to go home and be like, oh, I should read my Bible more. Even though, you know, I haven't read my Bible that much, it's I've thought about it more. I really have. I've thought about it. And, you know, I pray more because of this, because it just gets you thinking, and it kind of plants that seed. how it's social and it's just a bunch of people our age who have the same interest in God. Well my favorite part is probably us coming together and be able to talk about God and what he's done for us and having and when we do questions and stuff we have many different answers and I just like to hear what people say and what they're thinking and what they've done to spread God's word. My favorite part would be the outreach, like going to the nursing homes and helping out with the community because it helps like not only connect with teenagers but people of all ages. My favorite part of this group is we all come together and we discuss things that we're not sure about, about Jesus and God. in general life? Well, um, for my whole life, I raced motocross is what I've done. It wasn't just a sport, it was a lifestyle for me. I, um, I had a rough ranking, a personal ranking of top 20th in the nation, and I had everything I wanted. Every female, <laughs> of course. Um, I had free motorcycles, I had a ride with Anderson Motorsports and all, and I went up to a, um, to a race, and at the race, I had a TBI, which is a traumatic brain injury. And as of the brain injury, I broke my shoulder blade, shoulder cuff, collarbone, dislocated my shoulder, and broke two vertebrae in my neck. So, after, after the brain injury, the only thing I could think of, because I learned how to do everything again, the only thing I could think of, thank you Jesus for letting me wake up. So, I heard that I heard that um, Miss Lisa was having a um, a youth group, and I was like, "Can I come?" And she was like, "Most definitely." So now I'm here. I think the favorite thing God has done in my life is just the people I've gotten to meet. Um, I've had endless opportunities to meet so many people from so many different backgrounds and. You know, um, people influence your relationship with God in 
so many ways possible. If it wasn't for the people I met today, then there's no telling where I would be at. I mean, I have countless teachers or even people in college that just have outreach to me. And I think that's definitely my favorite thing God has done in my life is just me being able to see the people I've met. He has blessed me with a whole bunch of things, like friends and family, of course, even though I've been through a lot of struggles when I was young. He blessed me with the courage and the ability to move without him. So I'm really thankful for that. that, that, that that's it. That's, um... Uh, there again, you know, like I said uh, I broke all pretty much everything in this this particular shoulder and you know two vertebrae around my neck and I'm you know I'm still walking and talking and you know I had to learn how to do all that again and he has given me the ability to do absolutely everything again. I'm driving, I'm going to college, I'm doing everything. And I actually I turned eighteen in a coma. <laughs> I didn't have an eighteenth birthday party. So but other than that, you know, I'm I i am in a way, I'm happy the accident happened. I'm happy that I am where I'm at today. My favorite thing that God has done in my life. Well, I can say that God has looked over me and my family. He um, watched over Micah when he had his injuries. And um, we were told that um, he wasn't going to make it. There was a good chance he wouldn't make it. However, not only has he made it, but he's in his first year of college. He drives. He does everything that anybody that's normal does. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. The whole purpose of this video was just to motivate people to maybe they're like Lisa and they're just feeling God's call to outreach to youth ministry or any other type of ministry. Um, a lot of hard work went into this video, so I would really appreciate if you would click that like button below somewhere around here and then also maybe even click that subscribe button down here. The students were extremely nervous about getting in front of the camera and if you check back to my channel tomorrow, hopefully there will be even a bloopers video just to show you how hard we struggled to get in front of this camera. But other than that, guys, I hope y'all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.